Hey, good morning, Salem Grace. Happy Sunday and Happy New Year. I hope that you all had a safe and happy Christmas and were able to spend time with your family and loved ones. And if you're anything like me, you ate way too much, but that's okay. That's what the holidays are for, and that's what the New Year's are for with a resolution. But thank you so much for joining me online this morning. With the holiday following falling actually on a Sunday this year, we we just wanted to say thank you to our volunteers and those that serve so incredibly faithfully every Sunday in our children's spaces and in our worship team and so many other, our coffee team. We just wanted to say thank you and give those individuals an opportunity to have a day to rest. And we believe that rest is important. We believe that it's something that, that all Jesus did, so we want to follow his lead. Obviously, this time of year is a time that we, it's easy to look back and it's easy to look forward to what lies ahead and the promise of a new year. Uh, we look at some of the successes or maybe our failures or some of the challenges that we experienced this past year. Some things that we were maybe worried about that looking back on it now, we're like, oh, I probably shouldn't have been worried about that. Maybe there were some unexpected challenges or changes in your life. I know there were in ours. And so uh, just taking all of that. So maybe there was something that we learned that we can apply to this new year that will help us have a better year. And you may be finding yourself wondering, is 2023 the year that I actually keep my resolution? I don't know. Maybe it will be for me. But there's just something exciting about a new year. It can be scary or maybe exciting. Maybe there's this anticipation of what lies ahead. Maybe there's just something looming out there uh, that's just opportunity. And so we're excited about what happened last year, but we're also excited about what can happen uh, going forward. And I just wanted to take a quick look back at Salem Grace and the things that we accomplished together. But really, more importantly, I want to focus on where we're headed in 2023. In 2022, Salem Grace experienced some challenges and some successes. We continued to give our Cusimano food giveaway on Saturdays. We had over 60 plus kids attend day camp and over 60 plus, actually over 100 kids in day camp and over 60 plus kids at Big Stuff. We supported community organizations like Mission Salem and Pregnancy Care Center, and we even were able to actually expand our property with the addition of two acres next to our property. We moved back to two services with, to provide room for visitors, but also to provide you all with some convenient service time for our in-person service times. And last and certainly not least, we had a very successful be Rich campaign, thank you, thank you for your generosity. We raised over $15,000 that'll pour back into our community. And we are truly, I believe, better when we work together. And so thank you from the bottom of my heart for your faithfulness, your generosity, for volunteering and serving and being part of this family at Salem Grace, which is exactly where I wanna head in 2023. This time last year, I directed us to a passage out of Matthew chapter 6, 33 and 34, and it says this, Seek the kingdom of God above all else, live righteously, and he will give you everything you need. Verse 34 says, So don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today's trouble is enough for today. And there were these three things that I just challenged us with. There were those three things that I had on my whiteboard in my office all year long. Seek God, live right, and don't worry. I wish I could say I got all those right all the time, but I'm still working on those things. And I believe that will carry us into 2023. This year, I want to really just focus on building and deepening the relationships, the relationships that we have at church, the relationships that we have with our families and our children and the people we work with and the personal relationships that we, that we have throughout our community. 
Church and our relationship with Jesus and each other, I think at times can feel extremely complex and challenging. But there's a real simple message that Paul delivers to the church in Romans. And it's one verse, and I want to share that with you today. I love the simplicity of the verse. I love that it's going to be the foundation of everything that we hope to accomplish in this next year at Salem Grace in 2023. And the verse is this. It's Romans chapter 12, verse 16, and it simply says this. Live in harmony with each other. Don't be too proud to enjoy the company of ordinary people and don't think you know it all. I love that. I love the simplicity of that. And the first thing Paul challenges us to do is to live in harmony. Andy Stanley has a great question that he often asks, and it's this, very simply, what does love require? And when we look at the life of Jesus and his response to Jewish leaders in Matthew chapter 22, he responded with two things, love God with all your heart, love our neighbor as ourselves. And he said those were the greatest commandments. And so what does love require? Love requires that we love each other and live in harmony with each other, especially among believers and especially in our church. And that's something that we want to just laser focus on in 2023. Loving God, loving people, and making disciples is the mission of Salem Grace. And I just believe that there's so much division in our world. We see it in politics and on the news media and on social media. And, I, and quite honestly, I think people are sick of it. Um, and so one of the things that I want to challenge us to do as believers is how can we do our part to bridge the gap uh, of the division that we see everywhere. How can we love God, love people, and make disciples? The second thing that Paul challenges us to do in this passage is to enjoy the company of ordinary people. I love that part of that passage because Salem Grace is a church full of ordinary people who are loved by an extraordinary God. We want to be a place that is not what our culture has come to expect from church. If you've been hurt by church or you have a preconceived idea, we want to overcome that. I think there's at times there's intentionality with our relationship and we've all become experts at sheltering and withdrawing from each other. Ordinary, we are just ordinary people with extraordinary relationships. We want to focus on marriages and parenting and the personal relationships that we have with people on a regular basis. The third and last thing that Paul challenges us to be is not to be a know-it-all. No one likes a know-it-all. And I believe that we are listening for the voice of Jesus if we don't assume that we know everything about following Jesus and we open up ourselves to be changed from the inside out. If we can become moldable and say, hey, I am willing to learn or I don't think I know it all, I think we're going to experience incredible growth in 2023. I love that so much. Perhaps maybe Maybe, just maybe, we can still learn. And maybe we can allow Jesus to change us and mold us into the kind of people that we need to be. So I'm so excited to see what 2023 has in store for me, for my family, for you, for my church family. Uh, and some of you are, are looking forward and looking forward to great things. Um, some of you I'm looking forward to meeting. Some of you I'm looking forward to getting to know better. Most of all, I'm looking forward to growing in a relationship with Jesus and with you. It's going to be a great journey in 2023. So come be a part of this family. Thanks again for everything that you do. And if you're out there and you've never been a part of our church, we would love to invite you to come give us a try. We're not perfect. We're ordinary people, but we're hoping that you will give us an opportunity to enjoy the company of ordinary people who love an extraordinary God. Thank you again for everything. We look forward to seeing you in 23. Happy New Year. Year.